Hey everyone, Anindo here and today I'm gonna show you a new ROM on my Samsung Galaxy Grand it's called the Slimcat ROM on my Grand and this ROM is running Android version 4.4.2 KitKat and uh, this is the lock screen of the ROM and if you switch to the right you get to see the camera and there is also a camera icon over here okay which gives a sneak peek of the camera and uh, if you swipe to the left you swipe to the left you view the widgets and also you can add some widgets if you want yeah so let's unlock so once you unlock the phone here it's the interface it looks just like Google Nexus 5 and the Cyanogen Mod 11 yeah but by default the ROM doesn't come with this launcher um, by default the, the ROM comes with this Nova launcher but once you flash the PAG apps then the ROM uh, changes its launcher to this one which is the Google Nexus launcher alright so this is the notification panel and this is some toggles which you find and th this is the phone dialer Okay. this is not the original Google Nexus 5 dialer as the original Nexus 5 dialer here we find like options like to search for a place and which directly acts like a phone directory okay but this is not that one this is the Cyanogen mod one and let me show you the contacts application so this is the people app okay then let me show you the messaging application so by default we get this google keyboard and even you can change your messaging application to hangout if you desire and this is the camera I ch uh, this is the photosphere camera by default it doesn't come with the photosphere camera so if you want to photosphere camera you can check out the video which I posted yesterday on how to enable photosphere camera on 4.4 ROMs so let me sh shoot a picture and show you so guys, as you can see the picture came out to be pretty sharp and even the video recording also works just fine let me show you a demo all right then uh, next comes is some Google applications which we get after flashing the G apps so this is the settings panel and by default we get the uh, on wireless settings we get like Wi-Fi Bluetooth data and on most settings we can select the default SMS application and here is some advanced settings for this ROM like interface on interface we can change the battery icon to like icon or percentage okay and even change the color on notification we can change this not notification panel style and some transparency and on status or here we can use some bat brightness control like if you like this if we swipe here it will darken the screen and it will just brighten if we swipe to the right and on navigation here you can enable the navigation keys which I enabled here some global menu means this one and I don't know what's this slim center okay on home here we can select the default launcher on sound here we find some sound settings same goes for display but on display here we can uh, select the CRT animation to don't show or to horizontal or vertical on storage uh, by default the ROM came with 3.2 GB out of which now 2.17 is available battery life of this ROM 
is i would say so so not uh, not good not bad but and the screen time which i got about one and a half hour i would say battery life is average not great cm11 battery life is better than this one okay guys one more thing to show that i am running the rom on art not the delvic and on art the rom is fully stable which wasn't the case for the cyanogen mod 11 on cyanogen mod 11 the rom crashes a lot when switching to art alright and uh, this rom runs on android version 4.4.2 which is the kitkat okay and this rom is developed by the xd developer xenon 92 right and this rom is based on mk1 firmware on advanced option we can see the super user thing okay what left okay and and to do benchmark on art i have run this benchmark on uh, art and it gave me a score of 10158 on art and on delvic it gave me a score of wait let me show you okay on delvic it gave me a score of 11039 i did a screenshot of that okay and uh, this rom is fully stable and i would say that the smoothness of this rom is better than the cyanogen mod 11 yes it's true that on cyanogen mod 11 you, we find that something on the other crashes a lot okay sometimes browser crashes or some application crashes but on this rom i don't find anything is crashing but one thing to say that um, maps wasn't working i don't know why i tried okay maps working okay see maps again not working maps has stopped i think it's due to the art i i would try to changing to delvic and see if map was working or not till now map wasn't working i don't know why and the rest of the things works just pretty fine and the rom is very very fast actually very very fast even much faster than uh, cm11 actually both are same but i would pr i would say that battery life on cm11 is little better than this one but this rom is very smooth much smoother than cm11 and one more thing guys let me show you that on this rom we don't find the google now okay it may be a bummer for some but doesn't matter for me so google now is not there and okay google feature is also not there so CL cm11 wins on that one so guys that's it this is a uh, rom review on cyanogen mod on pardon please on slim cat rom okay based on cm11 so guys that's it for the video if you like this video then please click on like button and if any queries regarding this rom you can directly ask me in comment section below i'll be there to help you and again thanks for watching and yeah see you on next video